game has wrapped. The Cougars are on the court. To Haas for Big three. Shot. Yes! Top of the key three for T.J. Haas. BYU Basketball is presented by Deseret First Credit Union. You know why? We show how. Les Olson, your technology partner. Smith's Food and Drug. Smith's now has grocery pickup and online delivery to save you time. Also sponsored by State Farm. Talk to an agent today at 1-800-STATE-FARM. It's time to play BYU basketball. No look low to Yo. Yo throws it down again. On the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Starting lineups tonight, courtesy of America First, Utah's top credit union. The Utah State Aggies will go with number 15, Abel Porter at the point. Abel 6'3", 200, senior pass, senior from Farmington, Utah, Davis High School. The two, number five, Sam Merrill, 6'5", 205, senior, Bountiful, Utah, Bountiful High School. At the three, number 22, Brock Miller, 6'5", 200, sophomore, Sandy, Utah, Brighton High School. At the four, number 34, Justin Bean, 6'7", 210, sophomore from Moore, Oklahoma. He's a former walk-on, returned missionary. And... We'll see how the uh, Aggies decide to go. It's going to be not with Kata, but with number 10, Alfonso Anderson. 6'6", 220, a junior from Tacoma, Washington, and North Idaho College. Mark Duran introduces the BYU Cougars. Backcourt for BYU is number 30, TJ Haas. Number four, Alex Barcelo. Three-man, number five, Jake Toulson. Your four-man is 23, Yoli Childs out of Bingham High. And at the five spot, the big fellow, the man in the middle, number 40, Colby Lee out of Meridian, Idaho. That's your starting five for the eight and four Cougars. Looking for another win in the Vivint. 15 in a row if they get it. The officials for tonight's game, Randy McCall, Eric Curry, and Rick Rendell. Eric Curry has the ball ready for play. BYU in the All-Royals and Utah State in the whites with blue letters and numerals. So no Namiya Keita to begin the game. We'll see if he plays in this game. Again, they didn't play him in the midweek against NAIA, and nor did Sam Merrill play, but there are starting Merrill. Now, the reason the Merrill thing was weird because he'd started 97 consecutive games. Even if he was only going to play for a little bit, you would have thought to see him there. I think there's some flu going around on that team. He might have had it, which has been part of the explanation. Cato will play a few minutes less than normal. They got a foul on the tip. So Yoli slapped it back, and Brock Miller, loose ball fouled as he tried to. I think TJ thought it was on him. He's like, no, please. It was on. Uh, I think it was on uh, Brock Miller. You're right. And, and I don't know if we've ever seen a foul two seconds in. Uh, Yoli won the tip, and Miller kind of came over the back of TJ. BYU in front court. They go left to right as we see it and you hear it. We are broadcasting from high above courtside here at Vivid Smart Home Arena. Low to Yo, touch pass to Toulson. Did he step out? Yeah. Good touch pass. Toulson had a look. He didn't take it, and then he stepped back to get some momentum on the drive, stepped out of bounds. So the first 10 seconds see a Utah State foul and a BYU turnover. Sam Merrill out front. Holds it at his belt. Guarded by Barcelo. Runs Barcelo into his screen. Barcelo catching up to Merrill, who shoots on the mid-range jumper and scores it. Utah State 2 and BYU 0. Merrill's got his first two, averaging 18 a game. Yoli runs it right to Haas. Haas, beautiful low to Yo. And Yo just off. Oh, he missed the lay-in. Thought he was going to hammer it, and he didn't. He just laid it too softly and gently off the window. How did BYU miss that one? Wow. That defender run through, but he still should have made it. Alfonso Anderson badly missing a three from the right side. Barcelo on the carom. BYU in front court. Yoli was wide open. Speaking of wide open, Jake for three. Back rims it. The rebound to Anderson. So BYU's off to a, a scoreless start from the field. 0 for 2 plus a turnover. 2-0 Utah State. Cougars force a turnover. As they doubled Merrill. Jake again. And that's good. Three-pointer left side for Jake Toulson. It's a Mountain America Credit Union three-pointer for BYU first of the night with every three BYU makes. That's $550 donated to the American Red Cross, courtesy of Mountain America Credit Union. Cougars three, Aggies two. Jake now one for two from deep. Anderson on the arc right side. They give on the wing right to Merrill. Merrill is double teamed on the arc. BYU aggressively on the double. They go high to Miller, back to Merrill right side. 90 seconds in. Merrill shoving away Barcelo left to Miller. He'll step back for three, take it, and miss it long. It's an air ball. So they've had two threes badly missed. One from Anderson, one from Miller. And BYU basketball leading at 3-2 with 18-15 to play here in the first half. I don't think Biller, BYU's too worried about Miller. Shoots a lot, only 32% though. It's 6 of 19, school record 19 three-point attempts against St. Catherine. They roll low to Colby. Colby gets the seal, the kick out to Jake. Jake will penetrate and step back on the wing left side. Fake the three. Goes top of the key to T.J. Haas. Under 18 to go till halftime. Crossover and a three. Yes, he got it. T.J. Haas. He crossed over Brock Miller, and he knocks it down from deep. The Cougs lead 6-2. It's another hot start from three for BYU. 
to Mountain America Credit Union three-pointers in the first two minutes and change for BYU. Cougs up 6-2, 6-0 run for the Cougs. Abel Porter, top of the key. He'll take a three, and that's no good. The rebound to Yoli Childs. Ags 0 for 3 from deep. And BYU, 2 for 3. Uh, TJ into another one. It was good, but really a, offensive foul on Yoli Childs setting a screen for TJ. Is that right? Not a smart play. Yoli just he clips him up top right in front of everyone. I think Porter really acted on the contact, and the referees gave it to him. So the Utah State fans are excited because Namiyash Keita has checked in. He's played only 10 minutes all year. They've also checked in Diogo Brito. So Miller and Anderson will sit. BYU 6 and Utah State 2. And BYU's had two turnovers in its first uh, five possessions. Yoli doesn't really appear to be engaged in this game. Uh, Not a smart foul there. Missed the early layup. Justin Bean on the bump. Right wing to Porter. Porter gives it low to Keita. Keita on the right block working on Colby Lee. Bangs into Lee. Jump hook with the left hand. Is in and out. And the Cougs grab the rebound. Barcelo to front court right side. So Barcelo got deep, got his look, and missed the hook. Jake Toulson will penetrate. Stop mid post left out to TJ. Deep three again. Good again! TJ Haas! A couple threes, and BYU's on a 9 0 run, leading it 9 2. Yet another Mountain America Credit Union three pointer for BYU and TJ Haas. Merrill will drive it low, cut off in the post, hands off to Bean. Bean up and no, but he's fouled. He'll get two free throws. Jake Toulson picks up his first. BYU has its second team foul. And Justin Bean, an 81% free throw shooter, goes to the line for two. He's first nationally in double doubles, averaging 15 and 12 coming in two today. And makes the free throw, does Bean. He's also second nationally in offensive rebounds. BYU has made three shots in a row, all from three. They were leading at 9-2. The 9-0 run ended by the Bean free throw. And two for two for Justin Bean. So the Cougar run is stopped, and Utah State draws two within five at 9-4. to four. BYU basketball brought to you by Siegfried and Jensen. Siegfried and Jensen have been helping Utah families for over 25 years. Barcelo, 25 feet away, left side. Now right side, T.J. Haas. Porter goes under the screen. T.J. shoots and misses. Took contact from Porter on the miss, and the Ags on the rebound. Uh, heat check for T.J. Not close, trying to maybe draw a foul. Merrill drives it to the left block. Thought he dragged the foot there. No travel call. The skip pass goes to Brito. Touch pass to Bean. Bean pulls it out to the perimeter right. The handoff to Merrill. Merrill drives it right junction. Offensive foul on Utah State. Yeah, they'll get Bean this time setting the screen. So one so, each for Bean and Yoli. Yep. A couple of offensive fouls on screen setters here in the early part of the first half. 16-16 to play until halftime. BYU 9, Utah State 4. BYU 3 of 5 from deep. The Ags have yet to hit from long range. Marcelo outside the three-point line left to TJ on the bump. Gets Porter going over the screen this time. Crossed him over, dropped it to the floor, and finds Yoli Childs on the rescue. Yoli will one-hand whip it low to Colby. Colby cuts it back to Yo. Yo is stripped in the paint, and the call is on Utah State. If that's Bean, that's two. Let's see what Randy pointed. Again, we're sitting so high, it's tough to exactly pick up the number of fingers being it held is. up but number it is two. Justin Bean so Bean's got his second before the first media timeout which we've hit with 15.56 to go until halftime BYU 9 Utah State 4 and Justin Bean likely off the floor after this on the new skin BYU Sports Network let's get you back to the Mo Betta's courtside seats and the voice of the Cougars Greg Rubel hey BYU fans whether you want to sit courtside or score a bird's eye view We've got the bird's eye view today. Uh, StubHub, the best place to grab your Cougar ticket. StubHub, the official ticketing partner of the BYU Cougars. StubHub, be there. BYU shooting 50% from the field here at the first media timeout. Utah State shooting 20%, one for five. And have seen their double-double leader, Justin Bean, hit the bench in foul trouble. Two early fouls on Bean. BYU doing what it does. Three threes, two from TJ, and it's not as bad for Utah State as it was earlier in the season with being out because you can ha- you play Kata now but uh, that's a, a big loss still with the way he can offensive rebound and get points from the free throw line. So with being out Alfonso Anderson's check back in so Anderson and Kata playing up top and they almost stole the inbounds the long reach of Kata almost got to the Colby Lee pass BYU inbounds and has Jake Toulson on the bump now Guarded by Merrill. Number five guards number five. Spin at the free throw line. Right hand floater and no. And a travel called on Jake Toulson. That's two turnovers on Jake. Unless it was a carry because he's dribbling the whole time. I don't know how it would have been a travel. Jake's perplexed. Yoli Childs will have a seat here. Uh, Yo having a seat on 0 for 1. No points and a rebound. 
just not yet going in this game. He needs something to happen to get him riled up a little bit. Very passive. Kata on the bump. Pirouettes away from Lee. Right wing to Porter. Now he goes, sets up on the right block. Does Kata. They drop it downstairs in the post to send high to Merrill. NBA three for Merrill is no good. The rebound up in the air. Brought down by Colby Lee. Quick outlet to Dalton Nixon. Nixon takes it down floor. Stops on the arc right side. Dalton out of the right junction to the trailer. Jake Toulson. Toulson, Barcelo, Hawes, Nixon, Lee for BYU. Jake, a little crossover on Alfonso Anderson. Hand off to TJ. TJ to the free throw line. To the right junction. Backs it out to the right line. TJ crossing over Merrill. Takes to the baseline drive. Goes beneath the basket. Wheels it through the paint. Now the top of the key. Reversing back on Merrill. Bounce past Kobe Lee. And he drops it in. Oh, TJ Haas. About 15 seconds on the dribble at the end of it. The handoff to Kobe who puts it up and in. BYU leads by a score of 11-4. We'll call that a UCCU smart decision. Haas to Lee. Aggies down 7. 14-45 14-45 to play here in the first half. Merrill gets low, squeezes it up with some contact, draw a foul, and he'll get two free throws out of it. it Dalton Nixon, perhaps? I think it's Dalton as Merrill goes yeah. to the free throw line. That was the UCCU smart decision a moment ago with uh, TJ Haas weaving his way all around the floor before finding Colby Lee. Here's a smart decision. UCCU's 4-3-2-1 cash back credit card giving you up to 4% cash back on the spending. You do the most. UCCU love where you bank. So it's a true to form early. The Aggies doing scoring at the free throw line and BYU doing it from deep for the most part as Merrill goes two for two. So the Aggies are four for four at the free throw line and they're among the most free throw dependent teams in the country. BYU meantime among the most three point dependent teams in all the land. 11 to six. Cougars up five. 14.35 to play. You're in app number one. Jump stop for TJ. Jumper good. Just inside the free throw line, and TJ's made an art of that in the last few weeks. Is and really for his career, but he's hitting that regularly of late. Oh, he got beat by by uh, Porter, who lays it up and in. So TJ a little slow to Porter that time, and Porter's got, Porter's got his first two, 13 to eight. BYU once again by five. TJ locked in eight points in this game, and when he plays well, BYU usually plays really well as a team. Dalton Nixon straddling the three point line, right side, top side to Colby Lee. Holds it high above his head. Gives it to Barcelo. Barcelo straight away. Guarded by Merrill. They cycle at Nixon to Hawes. The pick and pop. The short roll to Dalton. The floater is no good from the base right. The rebound to Utah State. BYU 13. Utah State 8. 13.45 to play till the break. Merrill. Cross court Anderson. Touch pass Porter. Return back to Alfonso for three. And that's good. So Utah State makes its first three. They signaled long two. But that was inside the NBA line outside the college line. They'll have to review that. I think they gave the Aggies just two on that. But it should be a three-pointer for Alfonso Anderson. I'm going to call it a three. We'll see what they go back and look at it. But I thought he was between the two lines. And the white line's the college line here today. The dark line, the NBA line. Barcelo left wing with a 10-second shot clock. Takes an 18-footer, and that's front rim. And no, the rebound to Kata. 13-13 to play here in the first half. Utah State on a bit of a run right now. BYU's gone a little bit dry. Kata at the free throw line. Jumper. Good. Rattles home. And the scoreboard shows 13 to 12. If they call that other shot a three, it'd be 13 all. We're going to keep it at 13 12 for Utah State. On the Kata jumper. TJ, three point range right. Drop it right post to Toulson. Spinning away from Brito. Sees a double now. Pulls it out to the three point line. Between the legs on the dribble. Now to the bump. Still Toulson on the dribble down to a five-second shot clock. Nixon low to Lee. Lee jump hook over. Kata and good. Colby Lee scores. He's got points three and four. And BYU makes it 15 to 12. 12.25 to play here in the first half. Right at the buzzer of the shot clock. I don't think Colby had any idea, but he got it off just in time. There'll be a foul on Colby. Block. As Brito tried to split the defenders on the right wing, BYU got hip to hip and... Knocked Brito over with 12.20 to play till halftime substitutions. They're going to bring in Trevin Dorius among subs in. Trevin Dorius, 7 foot 240, a freshman from Heber City in Wasatch High School. Three seven footers on the Utah State roster. One not available tonight. Kuba Karwowski of uh, Poland is out after an appendicitis. Missed the last now five games in a row. Has Karwowski. BYU's up by a score of 15 to 12. 12 12 to play here in the first half. Porter to the left wing. Terminates. Stripe extended left. High feed Anderson. Will drive it low on Celius. Scoop and score. Utah State's got an offensive rhythm now as Anderson scores again. And on the far sideline, Toulson's knocked down. 
And the whistle blows with 11.59 to go till halftime. It'll be BYU basketball when we come back next. That ball went out of bounds off of Utah State. Cougar basketball next. It is 15-14. BYU over USU on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. You're listening to BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Here's Jason Shepard with a scoreboard update. Earlier today in local college basketball at Vivint Smart Home Arena, Utah defeating Weaver State 60-49. Southern Utah gets the win over UC Santa Barbara 62-61. And coming up at 7.30, Utah Valley hosting Northern Arizona. Back up to Salt Lake City and the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Thank you, Shep. We are high above courtside in the Mo Betas. High above courtside seats. Mo Betas, where the teriyaki steak and chicken are marinated to perfection and served with your choice of brown or white rice. And don't forget the Mac salad. How could you? Text the word OCEAN to 88588 for a free mini Kahlua pig plate at Mo Betta's Hawaiian Style Food. Again, text the word OCEAN to 88588 for some free Mo Betta's Food. BYU 15, Utah State 14. The Cougar game high lead in this game has been 7. It's down to 1 with 11.53 to play until halftime. Cougar basketball front court. Jake Toulson to the left junction, to the left block. Ball stripped and taken away. Turnover number 3 for Toulson here in the first half, and then Miller almost gave it away, but he bobbles it back to Merrill. Jake's got three turnovers here in the first eight minutes and change. You got no being no Katie. You got to get Yoli involved. Somehow get him fired up for this game. Child's back in. Has a, it's part of a double on Merrill. They go left wing to Alfonso Anderson. Left corner, Brock Miller. Miller, top of the key. Terminates and hands to Merrill. Merrill guarded by Toulson. They go to Dorius. Dorius backdoor Anderson and too heavy on the pass. Anderson thought that Dorius was going to shoot it. And the bounce pass came to Anderson to sailed right out of bounds. Turnover number three against Utah State to four for BYU. Toulson will check out. Nell will go in. So BYU with Barcelo, Celius, Nell, Harding, and Childs. Barcelo stripe extended left. Post feed kicked out of bounds by the Aggies. 11.05 to play till the break. The BYU lead one, 15-14. BYU playing for a 15th consecutive win on the home floor of the Utah Jazz. Dorius will check out for Coach Craig Smith. Rolling the dice a little bit, putting Bean back on the floor. 11.05 in the half. They bring Bean in with two fouls. Harding, angle left. A DHO to Barcelo. Hesitation on Brito. Stops mid post left. Goes right wing Nell. Top of the key to Harding. Back to Nell outside the three point line. The lob low to Yo. Yo waits for contact from Anderson. Dribbles on him. Now the double comes. They look for the steal. The handoff is to Celius. Celius head fake on the base. They knock it away from Zach. Gets it back. And the th- shot clock expiration has Yoli shooting a three. And they say he didn't get it off in time. So shot clock violation for BYU. The Cougs offense. In a struggle mode right now with a 15-14 lead. The Aggies playing for their first lead of the game right here. Looked like he got it off, but didn't matter. Rebound would have gone to the Aggies. Beg your pardon, Utah. Utah State did score the first two points of the game. The BYU 3 put them in front, and the Cougars have led ever since. So it'll be the second Aggie lead. They did lead 2-zip. They're down 15-14. to Anderson for the NBA 3, and that's in and out. The rebound to Connor Harding. Again, the allure of that NBA three-point line ever present as I thought they missed the travel on Harding there. They go low to Yo, got the seal, and he hammers it home. There it is. That maybe get yeah. Yo going a little bit. The throwdown is a Yo down. Yoli Childs with the two-hand hammer, and BYU's up by three, 17 to 14, 10 10 to go here in half number one. I know that Bean. got me fired up when I dunked it, Greg. <laughs> I got just got went crazy after that. Bean posts up on the right, straight away Brito, another NBA three, and that's no good. Wide right, offensive rebound by. The expert offensive rebounder, Justin Bean, sails in, and the stick back for Bean. He's got four. Utah State within one, 17-16. That three was missed so badly, and it caromed perfectly to Bean. It's rebounding. Utah State's missed though. everything on three threes here in the first half. The one guy you got to put a body on is Bean. They had plenty of guys there to do it. TJ, a drive and kick. Touch pass Celius to Nell. Nell does nothing with it, but bring it up to the top of the key. Bounce pass outside the right junction to Yo. Single team, a rip. On a reverse pivot and a crazy jump hook missed wildly by Childs from the right baseline. Utah State playing for the lead here down 17 to 16. Merrill Euros into the alley and takes a hit. He'll get two free throws to give Utah State the lead with 9.23 to play till halftime. Yoli Childs one for three. His only make is that slam dunk a moment ago. So Merrill to the line. The Aggies four for four at the free throw line and BYU's yet to take a free throw. This is what happens in Utah State games. They shoot a ton of free throws, and BYU doesn't shoot very many at all. Merrill misses. 
In and out for Sam. 85% free throw shooter. He's two for three. Did not play midweek against St. Catherine. Last year against BYU, 17 points, five rebounds, two assists. Second good. So Merrill three of four tonight and five points on the night. And we're tied up, 17-17. BYU's seven-point lead is gone. Cougars had a seven-point cushion on two occasions. T.J. Haas will bring it from back to front. Yeah, he needs a little more, more selfish on the threes. They're getting looks and passing out of it into guys that are covered. T.J. on the Beehive Classic logo, left side. Quickly low to Yo. Sees a double. A skip to Trevin Nell. Big three, and he missed it. Wide open triple for Nell. And Trevin Nell's not shooting a good number from deep this season. 25%. Miller, touch pass left corner. Porter. Porter will drive it. Low, step back to short corner, give to Bean. Reverse pivot by Bean, takes to the left block, and he'll skip it to Anderson. NBA 3 right side, takes it and makes it. Utah State's in front by 3 for the first time tonight. 20-17, to 17, Aggies lead it on the Alfonso Anderson three-pointer. He's got seven. TJ, wing right. Threw it downstairs to Childs. He reached out but couldn't haul in the pass. Turns it over. BYU's got some turnover trouble here in half number one. Six turnovers in the first 12 minutes for BYU. And Yoli Childs will sit again. Yeah, he's in la-la land right now. Very that, lazy yeah. defensively. Could have easily contested that three. Didn't. And then actually it was a good pass from TJ. Would have been a dunk if Yoli kind of half-heartedly just reached out for it. So Childs on a one-for-three shooting day. And with a single turnover has a seat. Kata on the bump to Miller. Utah State 20, BYU 17. The Cougs have been outscored by 10 over the last number of minutes. Bean will drive it, jump stop it. A deflected pass out to Miller. They call the, what do they call, foul on BYU? Offensive foul. Well, that's Uh, three on Bean then. Nixon stepped in. That is three on Bean. It had to be on Bean. So Justin Bean picks up his third foul. They rolled the dice, and the gamble doesn't pay off as Bean will sit now for sure the rest of the half on three fouls here in half number one. But despite foul trouble, Utah State's done well to hang with and now push ahead of BYU. 20-17, Ags lead it. 8-10 to play until halftime. So Bean on the charge turns it over. Turnover number four. TJ! For Utah State as TJ knocks down the three at the top of the key. TJ Haas straight away. He's got three threes, and BYU ties the game at 20. 11 points. We see TJ disappear half sometimes, but he's showed up to play in this one. Porter. Stripe extended right. On top to Brito. Keita down low on Nixon. They give to Keita. Mid-alley right. Spins on Nixon. Nixon stands his ground, but Keita scores over him very deep. And so Keita's got four, and Utah State's up two. You want you to retake the lead with the Carter Harding three! (laughs) Off the assist from Dalton Nixon. Nixon whips it left corner, and Carter Harding knocks down the triple. BYU by one yet again. 23-22. What a pass. The awareness to find Harding in the corner. Kata, skip left corner Miller to retake the lead. That's in and out. Rebound Connor Harding. BYU 23, Utah State 22. The under eight minute media timeout is coming up. Celius right wing. Celius on the bump. On the bounce is Celius. Takes it low, squeezes up a crazy shot. They block it That's and they'll goaltend. call it good. Goaltend as Kata blocked it on his downward flight. Scored for BYU from Celius. And BYU takes a, five, a three point lead. 25 22, 7 05 to go till halftime. We're taking a break. This is BYU basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Back to Mark Durant and the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel, for more BYU basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. At Edge, we sell pest control, knock doors, and love it. With your commitment and our managers, you will sell more and have an amazing experience. Join us. Check us out on social media at EdgeD2D or visit us online at EdgeD2D.com. BYU by 3, 25-22, 7.05 to play in half number one. The Cougars and the Aggies. Meeting up in Vivint Smart Home Arena, where BYU's won 14 consecutive games dating back to 2007. They've also won the last seven against Utah State. I'd like to register a complaint with Vivint Smart Home, though, Greg. I'd like to... The listeners don't care, but you got this (laughs) mega jumbo Supertron in front of us, right, Greg? And they're showing it opposite of what we're seeing on the floor. You got the technology. (laughs) Flip it so it matches the direction the teams are going on the floor. Is that too much to ask? Mark is a simple man with basic needs. 
As we come so back in. So you got Selya shooting left here, and he's really shooting the three-point play. He had a nice shot with the goal 10 on Kata on the other end of the floor. So they called the foul, and Zach will shoot and make the free throw to give BYU a four-point lead. Not a smart play by Kata there. I don't know that that goes in for Zach. He just kind of threw it up there, and clearly a goal 10. So the foul was issued to Merrill. That's five for Utah State and five for BYU. The Cougars have five players with one foul apiece. And the Aggies have one guy with three fouls. That one guy is the double-double guy, Justin Bean, on the foul, on the bench with three fouls. 6 nothing BYU run, however, after trailing at 22-20. to 26-22, Cougs in front. Merrill is hounded by Harding. The release to Brito between the circles. Diogo Brito around the arc left side. Terminates, slow to Keita. Nice strip mm. by T.J. Haas. Right there for the recipient of the pass. Nimi is Keita. T.J. to Nixon. Nixon will skip it left corner. Will be deflected out of bounds by Porter. And BYU basketball with a 24-second shot clock. 6.40 on the game clock. Quick hands of T.J. Haas to strip it away from Namiya Keita. A really good help there. He came down backside because his, the guy guarding Keita had to go up and help on the screen. And it was just sneak in there and knock it away, prevent the dunk. Cougars a four-point lead, 26-22. Led by as many as seven here in the first half. 6.35 to play till halftime. T.J. Haas hot with 11 on four of five, including three of four from deep. Marcelo on the bump. Terminates, gave it to Nixon, knocked away from Dalton, back to Barcelo, and now Jake Toulson, 35 feet away, left side. TJ into a deep three on Brito. Oh, no, it's no good. Would have given the Cougars a seven point lead again. He wanted that shot. Doesn't drop. He's three for six now from deep. Three for five, five beg your pardon. Sam Merrill getting into the paint. We'll kick it to an open Porter for three, and that's good. Abel Porter with his first three. It's a one point game. Good so penetration. BYU sold out on Merrill, and he yeah. found the open Porter. Merrill draws so much attention when he gets to the paint. It did a nice job finding Porter. Marcelo, Harding, top of the key. Two bounces and a dribble handoff to TJ. They cycle Nixon to Barcelo. As Nixon rolls low, Barcelo stays high to Harding. Connor to Dalton, stripe extended out to Dalton, Nixon, left wing. Down to a five-second shot clock. Nixon runs it high to Hawes. Down to five and four. Gets into the paint. Euro teardrop. No, it's no good. TJ right there. And it's... Off the iron. Transition triple the other way for Miller, and that's Utah State in front. 28-26, just like that. Brock Miller with his first three. 6-0 run by Utah State, answering a 6-0 run by BYU. Jake Toulson, top of the key. Left of the key. Right off the window, and no. Missed wildly by Toulson. The rebound to Utah State. Jake's one for three from the field. Brito, top of the arc. Beat Barcelo to the left elbow. And the left corner step out by Brock Miller will turn it over. Turnover number six for Utah State. Turnover's even six all. 28-26. The Aggies lead the Cougs. Jake will sit again. A really lackluster performance from Jake. And Yoli, Yoli, Yoli will check in for Jake. This is not the night to be lackluster. <laughs> you only get a certain number of games, especially if you're Yoli. God, be ready to play. Barcelo left. Yoli up top. Terminates those childs. Haas on the wing right side. We've seen Yoli have some quiet first halves and stronger seconds as Harding wheels away from Miller. Right to Haas. Back left to Connor outside the arc. Mid post left. Reverse pivot by Yoli. Sees a double. Hands off to Nixon. His pass deflected. Back at Dalton. Go. Down to a three second shot clock. Down to two. Nixon to Barcelo. Shot clock expiration. Missed the three. Back iron. Rebound Brito. Went over the backboard. They'll say Utah State basketball. So Aggies 28, BYU 26, 4.29 to play until halftime. BYU's missed four in a row from the field after making three straight. Aggie defense is very good, and they're getting BYU really late in the clock every time, forcing some tough shots. Porter takes a handoff from Brito. The give is to Merrill. Merrill has Childs tracking him to the right side. They go left corner to Porter. He'll drive it down the baseline and pull it out to the right wing. To Brock Miller and a step out again. again. Well, Miller stepped out left corner and now right sideline. Another turnover for Utah State on a step out, and BYU remains down two, 28 26, 409 to go till halftime. So TJ will walk it into front court, now pick up his pace as he starts at right wing to Harding. They go around the horn, Nixon back to Haas, straight away to Yo. Childs, Harding on the right wing. Connor between the legs, post feed to Childs. Faces, runs into a double. Jump hook, good. Over two players, ties the game. Yoli Childs from the right baseline. Makes it 28-28, 3.45 to go till halftime. The under-four-minute media break is coming on the next whistle. 
Works hard on that little shot put runner. Nice shot. A spin by Anderson on the post up. Missed it at the rim with a contest by Yo. And Child's on the rebound. Bounce pass ahead to Nixon. Nixon right wing Harding. Harding goes behind the back on Merrill. Pulls it out to the right wing. Connor Harding now feeds it on the hook pass to Yo. Yo sees a soft double. They're stripping. They're slapping at it. The open man is Nixon. The touch pass to Harding for three left corner. Got it again! Another assist from Dalton Nixon. Another three by Connor Harding. And timeout will take it. 318 to go till halftime. It is BYU 31 and Utah State 28 on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. You're listening to BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Here's Jason Shepard with a scoreboard update. One game featuring a top 25 team in action right now. Number 14, Dayton leading Drake 62-35. Eight minutes to go in that one. And a big one tonight, 8 o'clock Mountain Time tip-off in Tucson. Number 15, Arizona hosting Number six, Gonzaga. Back up to Vivint Smart Home Arena alongside Mark Duran. Here's the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Thanks again, Shep. Tonight's basketball game is brought to you by America First, Utah's number one credit union. Join us and you'll be part of a winning financial team. Go to AmericaFirst.com for details and go Cougars. Connor Harding scored 14 points in 21 minutes against Utah State last year. Well, Connor has scored six points in nine minutes here this year. He's two for two from three, making him seven for his last 12 from the three-point line. You know they say that basketball is a game of runs. And the last few minutes have gone like this. BYU 6-0, Utah State 6-0, BYU 5-0. That is the current run for the Cougs, 31-28. BYU over USU with 3.18 to go until halftime. This game's got the runs is what you're saying, Greg. (laughs) I tell you what, though, good to see Yo. He seems to be a little bit more engaged that last time down. He got the double. He recognized it coming on the baseline side with the Miller. And he knew he had a guy. And credit Nixon to come flash caught it and drew that corner defender from Harding and that was just go to the corner wide open three you got to like your chance of the Connor Harding shooting an open three so Delta Nixon in back-to-back games has had career highs in points then career highs in rebounds so you're wondering what his career high in assists is right well it's four and he's halfway there two assists here in the first half for Dalton Nixon it's the Taysom Hill of BYU basketball <laughs> BYU by the way has won 14 in a row in this building Utah State, meantime, 4-6 and six all time at Vivint Smart Home Arena. The BYU Cougars have been on the floor for quite a while, like 30 seconds. And Utah State still in its uh, on-floor huddle right now. And the officials have now gone into that huddle to break it up. So Utah State, among its storylines, the strong play of the Miyashkeda in his first extended action here of the season. And the fact that Justin Beans missed so much of the first half. With three fouls now, 31-28, the BYU lead. The Aggies bring it from back to front. They go right to left as we see it and you hear it here in half number one. Merrill, 30 feet away, slight angle left on the bump to Kata. Kata holding it at his belt, the handoff to Merrill. Merrill takes to the right wing, terminates, skip left to Brito. Brito will drive it, float it, miss it. Tip by Kata, no, tip up is no. Good second time around by Utah State and rebound to BYU. Barcelo front court right side is scoreless. 0 for 2. TJ is not. He's got 11. Harding really getting after Merrill on defense. Nice job from Connor. Harding right wing up top to Yo. They'll cycle it to Barcelo. Beehive classic logo 35 feet away left side. Touch pass from TJ back to AB. AB will spin to the paint. Cut off. And they say he traveled. He got knocked out of his hands. I I don't know. So quiet start for Barcelo. Zero points. 0 for 2 from the field and a turnover. Utah State basketball down three. The turnover's even seven apiece here in the first half. Abel Porter Jr., the senior out of Davis High School, did not score against BYU last year in 11 minutes played. Porter's got five in this one. Merrill straight away. Guarded by Harding. He lost Harding into a three, and that's in and out. Rebound to Yoli Childs. Good board by Yo. Down floor, Barcelo. Front court, right side. A.B. to the paint. Floats it and back irons it. The rebound fell to Kata. AB's 0 for 3 from the field, still scoreless. Brito transition triple to tie the game. That's missed. Rebounded by Childs. And the Cougs come back down the other way. Two minutes even to play here in the first half. The Ags have missed four in a row from the field. Childs holding it left wing. They bring out Kata to him. The dribble handoff to Yo or to TJ. TJ will stop on the right block and send it out to Childs. Touch pass to Harding. We'll take the three top of the key. Yeah. Both he and Yoli passed up an open three there. 10-second shot clock. Now who will create late in the clock? 100 seconds to go till halftime. TJ goes behind the back and shoots an 18-footer. That's good. Why not him? 
T.J. Haas with 13 points. Log two and BYU by five at 33-28. He has been special in this half. Nice job finding a spot to shoot that. Alfonso Anderson gets low. Runs into a double set by Childs. They go topside Brito. Left wing Porter. Left block to Keita. Keita sees a soft double from Barcelo. Barcelo gets back away from it. The spin by Keita. And he turned it over. Oh, they say BYU deflected it out of bounds. I thought it was off of Keita's hands last. But the uh, double on the base forcing him into a pass that goes out of bounds on the baseline. Oh, I think it was off Keita last. There were certainly BYU hands whacking away. But he'll give the ball to Utah State. Keita, handoff Merrill just inside the three-point line. He'll take a long two and miss that. The rebound slapped around, collected by Toulson. Keita just delaying on TJ's back, but uh, get the rebound anyway. BYU can tie its game-high cushion here. BYU leads by five. TJ will drive it, take a bump by Merrill, handoff to Toulson. Toulson, three points on one for three. Marcelo to the bump, down to a 10-second shot clock. Jake. Outside the NBA three-point line. Backs himself to the free-throw line. Bobbled it. Step back. And a pass left to Barcelo. On the slip to Toulson. The scoop and score! Jake Toulson gives BYU a seven-point lead. 35-28. 35 seconds to go until halftime. Really press him to avoid the block from Katie. He had to throw it up way high off the backboard. Softly. So BYU will lead at halftime. The Cougs have a seven-point lead. Tying their first half and game-high cushion. 20 seconds to go till the break. It's a 12-second shot clock for Utah State. 9-0. BYU run. Keita, three-point range right. The give to Merrill on the bump. Childs has him. Blocks the shot by Merrill. Sam got it back. Gives to Anderson with the shot clock expiring. It's an air ball. And BYU will get the final possession of half number one. What a great defensive possession. Yoli switches on Merrill and blocks the shot. And then they recover and get another poor shot at the buzzer. Six straight misses by Utah State. BYU will call a timeout. They would otherwise lose in the first half. And a good call by Coach Pope, Coach Pope to drop a play with 7.1 to go here in half number one. So BYU will lead and should lead, we should say, by at least seven here at halftime. You don't want to go too early and give the Aggies something to look at late. It is BYU 35 and Utah State 28. So BYU should lead by at least seven, could lead by eight, nine, or ten, depending yeah. on what happens here. You know, this this few, few amount of seconds left, you're probably looking at a three, maybe get a double-digit lead after this half. That would be something, a great momentum going into halftime. Cougar shooting 54% on the year to Utah State's 40, a 54% on the game, I beg your pardon, to Utah State's 40 here in the first half. BYU this year 4-1 and one when shooting 50% or better from the field. BYU 6 for 11 from deep. The Aggies just 3 for 12. Or their last 5 for BYU. 0 oh for their last 6 for Utah State. BYU will have Dalton Nixon 94 feet away. He's got Barcelo and Hawes in backcourt. Toulson and Childs in forecourt. Seven, give uh, they give it, they, they've taken the time off to 5.7. The original stoppage time. TJ, he's been hot. So TJ takes it with five in backcourt with four and with three. And he's fouled. That'll be a foul to give. Oh, and he made the deep three from like 35 feet anyway. That's a smart play. Sad that they're not in the bonus yet, but the smart play, they're recognizing that. That was the foul to give. It'll make it uh, 2.4 now for BYU with an inbounds in front court right in front of the Utah Star, just adjacent to the Utah State team area. Dalton Nixon will inbounds it. 2.4 to go. So not a lot of time here. Enough to time to dribble and shoot, even maybe pass and shoot, as Toulson will now send in. Maybe just a pass and then a step in from Toulson, possibly. Toulson to TJ. TJ jumps the three from the right side, off the Ooh. rim, the window, and no. Got a decent look on a quick turn and fire. TJ Haas misses at the horn as BYU leads it by seven at the break. 35-28, BYU leading at Utah State. Halftime recap next here on the new skin, BYU Sports Network.